Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti, and I'm the Narc's nemesis. For those of y'all watching me on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, that helps YouTube's algorithm pick up this content and push it out to more people that need it. Somebody liked it for you, so make sure you like it for somebody. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is in the video description. If you need to talk, if you need to vent, if you need advice, custom-made and tailor-fitted to your situation, make sure y'all tap in. Um, and book a session. I do all city states and time zones, so do not let that deter you from booking a session uh, and country so we can work that out. Um, my single superstition is out now on all streaming platforms. Um, it is about my narcissistic experience. It is, it also features a voicemail of my ex narc trying to hoover me, and I ain't going for it. Also, it is featured in the movie Becky streaming on Amazon Prime. So y'all make sure y'all check that movie out as well. Also, um, I need y'all to call 104 KRBE down in Houston. The information will be in the video description and request Superstition by Terrell Andretti. Uh, between the central hours of 8 and 5 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. So whatever that is um, in y'all's time zone, y'all have to figure that out. But give them a call. Request Superstition by Terrell Andretti. That is the only favor that I ask from y'all. I don't ask y'all for no money. I don't ask for anything. I do give y'all the option to donate if you want to. The link for that is in the video description as well. But I'd much rather y'all call and blow these folks' line up and request this song. I would greatly appreciate it. It's about my narcissistic experience, and it's been so liberating for so many people. I want to share that with the world, and I think it has the power to make a big impact. So y'all are very capable of making that happen. So you want to pay something forward, that'll be your way to pay it forward, and it's free. Call them as many times as you can daily. I greatly appreciate it. Sometimes the line is going to be busy. Sometimes you're going to get through. I've gotten through plenty of times. So, you know, if you love me, holla at your boy. But anyway, today I want to talk to y'all about staying your ass off day social media. A lot of y'all are contributing to your own suffering. Because no matter what I tell you, you cannot stay your ass off their social media. Because a lot of y'all don't have enough to do. Because a lot of y'all are saying what they're doing and how could they give the ex, the new ex this. And how could they, you know why you know that shit? Because you stay on their page. You see what they're doing. You watching what they're doing. You watching who they with. You watching where they're going. Now you done turned into the stalker. You done turned into the, the uh, lunatic because you pursuing them. You trying to figure out what they doing with somebody else. Especially if it's somebody that done cheated on you. Somebody that done, you know, um, had somebody else inside of them or been inside somebody else. And you chasing them around town. You, you really got to get your shit together because it ain't no way in hell. Me as a man and speaking to all my fellas if somebody else has been inside that woman while y'all been together you need to let her go and never allow her back in your life there is no exceptions i don't give a fuck if y'all got kids i don't give a damn if y'all known each other since high school if another man has been inside that woman while y'all have been together you need to let her go and never return and never allow her to return there is no if ands buts about it there is under no circumstance i don't care if y'all were broke up for a week i don't care if y'all were broke up for three days because if a motherfucker went and did that in a week and three days they've been waiting to do it or they've been doing it and ladies of course the same thing applies to y'all but i'm talking to my fellas right now If she has had somebody else inside of her, you need to cut it the fuck out.
Stop trying to fight for that motherfucker. Stop trying to see who she with. And the bottom line is you already know somebody else been in there. Get your ass in the gym. Work some overtime so you can get your money right. Boss up. Start that business and grow. Grow to the point where you're unavailable and they aren't qualified to talk to you. You do not hunt no motherfucker down that done had somebody else inside of them while y'all been together. That was my little rant for that, but no, we, we don't do that. Sorry, we don't do that. But y'all are watching these individuals' pages and they're going out on dates and, and the reason, like, Y'all keep having different things to, well, what if, and what if, and what if, and what if. That's because your ass is going on that page finding different shit every fucking day. And you don't need to be on there. Because guess what? Y'all think y'all finna go over there and get answers. All you're doing is going to create more questions. Well, damn, I seen that. Why would they do this? Or why would they, why would they? That's all you get when you go on their page. Why would, or what if, what coulda, shoulda, woulda, whatever. Y'all going on there and y'all going and creating all of these damn questions. It don't matter. They are a narcissist. It doesn't fucking matter. Your healing and your validation comes from the education on the disorder, not from them. Too many of y'all are expecting this apology. Y'all are uh, expecting this big revelation. Y'all are expecting this big uh, epiphany that y'all think is finna happen with them. They don't do that and stop waiting on it because you're wasting your time and you're wasting your life. That ain't how they operate. That ain't how they roll, nor will it ever be. Get that through your head. Some of y'all are lacking in life and, um, you know, not giving it all, giving it your all and giving it your full potential because you stuck. Because you want to go with the verse and the things that's in your head instead of reality. And that's where you keep losing. Because no matter how much you have your head up your ass, reality is still going to be reality. There is no escape from reality. Because I know a lot of people like to live in fucking delusion. And it is a defense mechanism. Because when people can't handle pressure, when everything gets them unhinged or emotionally charged or whatever the case is, they want to go to this fantasy land. And if we're being correct, narcissists do this 24-7. That's why you be like, they got to know that's wrong. They got to know this. They got to know that. That's because they live in la-la land. Because reality is too painful for them to live in as well. Because if they come to reality, they got to understand that they're a piece of shit. They got to understand that they're not a good person. They got to understand that they fuck up every relationship they touch. That's not a reality they want to live in. So they live in la-la land. A lot of y'all are joining them in La La Land because you're like, oh, well, they got to be a good person. They're this, they're this. But what about this time? What about that? What about the time they gave me a Capri Sun in the sun? No. Stop making excuses up for their behavior. Stop making excuses up for putting up with their behavior. Stop making excuses up for who they are. I don't give a damn about their childhood trauma. You got childhood trauma that you need to heal. What are you on their page looking for? A lot of y'all already know they dealing with somebody. Oh, I got to put eyes on them. What the fuck for? Because if you put eyes on them, it's not going to change anything. All you're going to have a, is a face to go with your pain. That's what you're looking for. A face to go with your pain. Instead of understanding what it is, hey, man, they left me for somebody else. It's fucked up. I'm going to grieve and I'm going to do everything. But I, I, I'm not even finna entertain the thought because what you going to do next when you see who it is? Oh, well, I, because when you go on their social media and then you see this new person, what happens next is you start doing weirdo shit. 
And what I mean by weirdo shit, you want to inbox the new girlfriend and you want to tell them about what kind of dude he is. You want to inbox the new dude and tell her what kind of woman she You think they believe your ass? Because guess what? They done already prepped them. Man, I got a crazy ass ex be tripping, be smoking that shit. Got anger issues. Been to therapy a couple times. Stop going. They done already prepped them to not believe you. Keep your mouth closed. Because y'all start... Y'all start inboxing these people. Y'all start... Um, y'all start trying to... Oh, well, let me show you proof of what kind of... It don't matter. You look goofy doing that shit. Let them find out. Because the same people that y'all trying to warn are the people that watch them and help them abuse you. And because you haven't mastered the art of keeping your mouth closed, you falling right into the orchestra. Because guess what? They told them, man, somebody might be DMing you, telling you lies about me. And here you go, thinking you on the right path because you got evidence. Keep the evidence to yourself. The evidence is for you. So anytime you think about going backwards, you can read that shit and snap back to reality. Stay off of their page. Because all you doing is comparing. And you comparing facade to facade. Because they faking with them and they was faking with you too. So all you doing is trying, well, what fake looks the best? Their fake looks better than mine. My fake look better than them. Well, damn, the character that they created for them is way better than the character they created for me. Damn, the person that they're lying trying to be is way better than the person that they lied to me about. You hear how retarded that shit sounds when you say that out loud? Because that's all it is. The person that they created and they lied about being is better than the one that they created and lied about being to you. Oh, well, they gave the person. I seen one person in the comment, and I'm not picking on you. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm covering what you uh, mentioned. Uh, one person said that uh, the ex narc gave the new supply the ring that they always wanted. And they told them that they had to um, wait. They told them they had to wait, but they gave the new supply the ring uh, instantly, I guess. And if I misquoted that, you can correct me in the comments. Um, all that is is further abuse. And I'm going to tell you the thought process. I'm going to tell you your thought process when that happens. You told me to wait but you gave them the, the ring that I felt I deserved immediately. Damn, was I not good enough to get that ring immediately or what makes them so special that they got that immediately and we've been together two, three years, 10 years and I didn't get no ring. I didn't even get an offer for a ring. That is exactly what it's designed to do. Make you question yourself and make you question your value. That's why they give you exact, that's why they give the new supply exactly what you asked for. Because it's going to create confusion and chaos. Remember, they are authors of confusion and chaos. And that confusion is going to keep you going back and forth in your head, back and forth in your head, back and forth in your head. And as long as you go back and forth in your head, they're always going to be on your mind and they're always you're always going to be connected to them. That's what they want. They want you to think all day and all night why I wasn't good enough to receive what I've been begging for, but they gave it to them instantly. It's to make you question your value and it's also to create, create the facade that the new supply is better than you. So now you start hating on the new supply. Now you start wanting to DM the new supply. And guess what? They're getting energy and supply off of everything you do. Because you DMing them going crazy. You uh, popping up, you uh, keying cars, writing dicks on the cars, all that shit. Crazy shit. They getting a kick out of that because you fell for the bait. 
I know where to get them. You know that vacation they've been wanting to take? I'm going to take this new person and make sure I post it online where you ain't supposed to be. This is why I tell y'all, stay your ass off their social media. Because when you go on there, you fall into these traps and people continue to do it. And like I say, I'm not picking on you because it is a valid emotional response. But that does not mean it's okay. And you might do it a time or two. I get it. But the thing is, some of y'all have been doing this for months and years and have not healed one bit. And that is the reason why. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you need a one-on-one -on -one phone session, the link is down below in the video description. If you need to talk, if you need to vent, if you need advice custom-made and tailor-fitted to your situation, make sure y'all book a session. Um, my latest single, Superstition, is out now on all streaming platforms. It is um, available here on the channel as well. It is also It also features a voicemail of my ex narc trying to hoover me. And I ain't going for it. It is also featured in the movie Becky, which is streaming on Amazon Prime. So y'all check that movie out as well. Also, I need y'all to call 104 KRBE in Houston and request Superstition by Terrell Andretti. I need y'all to blow their line up. I sent them the song. They do have it. I need y'all to get them to play it. Y'all have the power to do so. I feel like this is a testament to my narcissistic experience and it shows how you can beat this thing and I think it should be shared with the world and I think it'll make a difference and I think it'll put narcissism on a global level and put these individuals on front street. I need y'all to help me with that. And I'm giving y'all this free game. Y'all been following me for months, some people for years. That's all I'm asking. You ain't gotta send me no money. All you gotta do is make a phone call a couple times a day if it's in your heart to do so. But until next time, another day, another way, and you ain't gotta listen, but I know you heard me.